Campus Town TCNJ was a $120 million project, possibly started around 2010. We don't really know, nor have any way of knowing. Campus Town? Yeah, that, that rings a bell. I remember when it was just a tiny seed sprouting from the great minds of this institution. The project was slow moving and behind schedule until one very special day in 2013 when current president and former governor Christopher Christie made a promise to TCNJ students. Man, I was really looking forward to that TCNJ fleece, but um, all right, it's okay. The check will still come, Mr. Madam President, don't worry about it. I share in your pride today, pride for the TCNJ community, and I'm pleased to be here as we officially break ground and kick off the Campus Town project. We met with Campus Town expert Dr. Amelia Snuff in her office. That is a chair in the lounge of TCNJ's Kendall Hall. Campus Town was a project for the ages. I mean, no one at this time has ever thought to place a, a town right next to a campus. I mean, it was absolutely revolutionary, I'll tell you. All right. Well, basically, the school was trying to compete with the frats. You know, those boys were just so popular. And, you know, so the idea for Campus Town was truly born. Okay, so my boyfriend Brian, he graduated like, like eight years ago. He told me all about this. There was nothing to do in Ewing, just like now. And all people did was get hammered every night. You know, I remember when I first heard about this project, I was mesmerized. It was just going to be beautiful. I was thinking, though, like, 15 years. It was going to be 15 years to complete this thing, 23 tops. But, you know, miraculously, we got it done in seven. And, you know, so obviously there was going to be some problems with it, but, like, you know, it only took that long, or that little, rather, because of Christy. He was the man. Everyone was excited for the new sea town but... It just wasn't moving as fastly as we'd hoped. And you know what? These things take time. What do you expect? We're going to get this done in the snap of the fingers? Construction don't happen like that, everybody. You know what? We're, we're, we're PRC. We're a co-op that grows vegetables, for Pete's sake. Construction's not our specialty. You know, peas, radishes, carrots, we got your barley, those kind of things. That's what we do. We don't do these big constructions. So when it happens so quickly, things, things happen. You know what? Things just happen. Yeah, I was there for that. Uh, then Governor Christie came and talked to us. Uh, I don't remember what he said, because that was Netflix binge. I have so many pictures of the event. I think Christie said something about Campus Town and a fleece. The real trouble started when we were told we needed to speed up the construction. You know, partly because President Christie had given a promise, but also because, you know, if the apartments weren't ready on time, the students had to start living at Ryder. And nobody, nobody in the brother wants to live at Ryder. Once Christie got involved, you knew stuff was going to get done. You know, the governor doesn't just come to your school for no reason. Governor Christie, President Christie, you guys had so many titles. He comes down here two, three times a week. He's watching us. He's taking the hammers, nailing in some screws. He even, he helped us build, you know, with those screws. Anyway, who knew the current president and former governor, those are his current titles, I suppose. He could build a damn town. You know, we put this project up, we built a town. Campus Town seemed to be completed by the fall of 2015. The students all moved in, uh, the bookstore was in place. All that needed to be, to be completed was, you know, the stores. Oh yeah, it all started great. I mean, the bookstore opened, everybody moved in. All that was left was the gym, the bank, the working clock tower, and like five restaurants. But other than that, it was, it was all finished. Between you and me, I kind of expected everything to be ready by the start of school, but naturally it wasn't. All right, so you know, no big deal. We had the apartments ready. Nobody had to go live at Ryder. We was good with that. They didn't have to go there. It was such an exciting day when the students all moved in. You know, they're all filled with joy from their faces to their spoiled, pedicured feet. Everything seemed to go fine until about 9.56 that night. Yeah, I had a huge test the next day. So I was laying in my bed, watching Netflix, when I realized I needed to relieve myself. I walked to the bathroom and started to whiz, to be more specific. I flushed, and all of a sudden, the toilet got up, walked away, like it didn't want to live there anymore. I should have taken that as a sign. Once one toilet ran away, the rest began to follow. But a student could live without toilets. I mean, God gave us sinks for a reason. But if that was the only thing that had happened, everything would have been fine. 
In order to get the toilets in on time, we had to order them from a witch doctor in freaking Genovia. We were contacting the queen, the new princess. I think she's next in line for the queen. Anyways, you know, we were definitely not up to code on anything, but you don't gotta tell the guys that one. Unfortunately, stuff happened. Some air conditioners exploded, a few people were critically injured, you know, the usual. So you see, there isn't much else to say. I mean, basically, when Christy was elected, you know, as president, whatever, there was no one to supervise the construction workers anymore. And you know, no one was here to speed along this project no more. So now I'm just relaxing, living my life, looking at my failed projects and, hey, Joe, Joe, where's my hoagie? I need the, I need the meatballs, the meatball sub, the meatball hoagie, the, yeah, the cheese, Parmesan, extra, extra Parmesan. After about a week, everyone seemed to give up on Campus Town. But I think about half of it was due to all the construction noises. The people living there just couldn't stand it, so they got chased out. Oh yeah, we started a petition to get the construction workers to stop making so much noise, so they just stopped. All they actually finished was the bookstore and the apartments. I signed the petition, and I didn't even live in Campus Town. I didn't even know what it was about, I just wanted to sign something. Campus Town. A failed experiment, or just misunderstood? He may never know the answer to that question, but for now, all we know is that we're still waiting for our campus town. And President Christie is still waiting for his fleece.